Trump just exposed Democrat racism, guess which former Democrat president was KKK member? It's become all too common for liberals to insult the conservatives in this country, calling them every sort of name from racist to xenophobe to Islamophobe. Funny enough however, it actually turns out that it's not the conservatives in this country who are racist. but the Democrats. Trump just released the much-anticipated JFK files, and after pouring through them, vigilant citizens have found several interesting secrets. One of these secrets however, has been very heavily guarded, and met with backlash, but after it was revealed which former Democrat president was a KKK member, there's no keeping the lid on this one. Democrats get elected by race-baiting and pandering to America-hating rebels, so it should come as no surprise that some of their most beloved leaders have had terrible ties to racist groups. They repeatedly shame and victimize the black community into squalor and poverty, also that they can make a quick buck and get some power. After the past eight years of Obama however, it seems that their reign of power is coming to an end, and what's worse is that their sick little secrets are being exposed left and right. President Trump just released the JFK files and in it, there's evidence suggesting that former Democrat President Lyndon B. Johnson was a member of the KKK. The Washington Post reports. President Trump ordered the release of more than 2,800 records related to the John F. Kennedy assassination on Thursday, but bowed to pressure from the CIA, FBI and other agencies to delay disclosing some of the most sensitive documents for another six months. Even so, the thousands of pages that were published online by the National Archives Thursday evening describe decades of spies and surveillance, informants and assassination plots. More than a dozen reporters and editors for The Washington Post combed through the documents on Thursday and Friday. Here are some of the wildest things they found, some of which have been reported before and some of which are new. In an internal FBI report from May 1964, an informant told the FBI that the Ku Klux Klan said it had documented proof that President Johnson was formerly a member of the Klan in Texas during the early days of his political career. This bombshell has been making very little news, aside from being buried within liberal sources and given no headlines. Many Americans have questioned the validity of this source, but it's in the official documents themselves, you can see them here for yourself. While many liberals have been shocked that their beloved President Lyndon B. Johnson was a member of the violent racist Ku Klux Klan group, conservatives aren't all that surprised. We know that many Democrats have hated minorities for decades, but rather than coming out and say it, they hide it behind sneaky policies. They would rather virtue signal, and act as if they're helping impoverished communities by giving them welfare and removing all motivation. Conservatives understand that sometimes a little bit of tough love is required, and if President Trump's speeches are any foreshadowing, it seems that the Dems will be getting a lot to come.